The Battle of Ivory was fought on 14 March 1590, during the French Wars of Religion. The battle was a decisive victory for Henry IV of France, leading Huguenot forces against the Catholic League forces led by the Duc de Mayenne. Henry's forces were victorious and he went on to lay siege to Paris. The battle occurred on the plain of Epier, uh, near Ivory, Normandy. Prelude Henry IV had moved rapidly to besiege Dro, a town controlled by the League. As Mayenne followed intending to raise the siege, Henry withdrew but stayed within sight. He deployed his army on the plain of Saint-André between the towns of Nonancourt and Ivry. The army of the Catholic League consisted of citizens led by priests and rebellious nobles, Swiss infantry under Appenzell, pikemen brought from Flanders by Philip, Count of Egmont, and the troopers of the Guise family with the Duke of Mayenne in command. The Battle At first light on 14 March 1590, the two armies engaged. The Duke had 12,000 foot soldiers supported by an assortment of German and Swiss infantry and 4,000 cavalry, 2,000 of whom were Spanish. Henry had only 8,000 foot soldiers and 3,000 men on horseback. Before the battle, the king famously spurred his troops. Companions, if you today run at risk with me, I will also run at risk with you, I will be victorious or die. God is with us. Look at his and our enemies, look at your king, hold your ranks, I beg of you, and if the heat of battle makes you leave them, think also of rallying back. Therein lies the key to victory. You will find it among those three trees that you can see over there on your right side. If you lose your ensigns, cornets or flags, do never lose sight of my panache, you will always find it on the road to honor and victory. The action began with a few deadly cannon volleys from the six pieces of the royal artillery, which was under the command of the master, Largish. The cavalry of the two sides then clashed with a dreadful force. The Duke of Mayenne followed up with the mercenary troops of the Gelders and Almain across the open field. The mercenaries, who were mostly sympathetic to the Protestant cause, fired in the air and put their spears in rest. Mayenne charged with such a fury that after a terrible fusillade and a struggle of a full quarter of an hour which left the field covered with dead, Following the defection of his mercenaries, the opposing left flank fled and the right was pierced and gave way. Oman soon overcame the League's light horse and their royalist counterparts retreated under the attack of the Walloon squadron backed up by two squadrons from the League. It was then the turn of the Marechal de Ormont, the Duc de Montpensier and the Baron de Biron to charge the foreign cavalry, forcing it into a retreat. Marshal de Biron, in command of the rear guard, joined up with the king who, without stopping after his victory, had crossed the river O in pursuit of the enemy. However, the decisive event took place elsewhere on the battlefield. The king charged the League's lances, who were unable to get far enough back to use their weapons. Mayenne was driven back, the Duke of Aumil forced to surrender, and the Count of Egmont killed. The Duke of Mayenne had lost the battle. Henry pursued the losers, many of whom surrendered for fear of falling into worse hands, their horses being in no condition to get them away from danger. The countryside was full of leaguers and Spaniards in flight, with the king's victorious army pursuing and scattering the remnants of the larger groups that dispersed and regathered. Aftermath Henry defeated Mayenne at Ivory so that he would become the only credible claimant to the throne of France. However, he was defeated in many sieges of Paris until he converted to Roman Catholicism in 1593. Henry was advised that the Parisians, as many of the French people, would not accept a Protestant king. Thomas Babington Macaulay wrote her famous poem about the battle, entitled The Battle of Ivory, it begins. Now glory to the Lord of hosts, from whom all glories are, and glory to our sovereign liege, King Henry of Navarre.